Hi everyone, just want to give you a short update. My pneumonia is completely cleared up. I've been doing uh, strength training about 30 minutes a day with my rehab bands. And uh, I've moved up one or two levels with that. I started adding flexibility to that routine now. And I'm doing 30 minutes a day heart rate zone one on my treadmill. And it's all starting to pay off. I'm breathing much better. And I'm using my asthma medication so much less having a lot easier time in the house just doing stuff that I need to do throughout the day and um, I started my chemotherapy last night that's my one year of chemotherapy where I take it for five days and then 23 days off 12 cycles of that so the first day um, the first day took it last night so today is the first day to see how I'm feeling so I actually woke up feeling great this morning better than I have in a long time. My shaky hands seemed to have vanished. I was able to sit at my desk and do my job for work and, and quite well because my hands weren't shaking. So it makes life so much easier. I've got the dexamethasone down to three milligrams now. The steroid, that has been a long journey and what a difference it makes. So I've been shedding some water, lost 11 pounds between uh, counting calories and uh, shedding water from the decks and doing my exercise in the last seven days down 11 pounds. And that feels really good because I've gained so much weight. So it's nice to be traveling in the other direction now. And um, this voice, my voice is so hoarse. I found out when they did my bronchoscopy that there's a, a benign growth on my vocal cords. And we always wondered why my voice would be hoarse sometimes, especially after eating. And <clears throat> since the bronchoscopy, it's pretty much just been hoarse the whole time. But there's a big growth there. We're going to go see a ear, nose, and throat guy and um, maybe just have it removed. It's totally benign. It's not cancerous or anything like that. So, um, so again, yeah, so started the chemotherapy today. I'm only two days in. I hear that you really don't start feeling the effects until day three or day four at least. So I'm wanting this first cycle behind me just to get an idea of how it's going to affect me because then I'm going to discuss with work, you know, how we can work around this going forward. You know, my thinking is that on chemo weeks where I do the five days, I just I just work a bit Saturday, Sunday, make up for it, hopefully. So doing well at work. I'm working at least uh, 25 hours a week right now. So that's going well. And that's without exhausting me too much, but I take frequent breaks. I still nap in the afternoon, every afternoon, and that helps immensely. And the exercise is just doing me a world of good too. Um, I can't even tell you how many different medications I'm on right now. It's at least 20 if you count the various puffers. So I was happy to put a few of those away that I don't need anymore. Got rid of the antibiotics. And I also found out after, let's say, 45 years of being, believing I was allergic to penicillin, that I'm not. So they were able to give me amoxicillin, amoxiclavulin is called, to help clear up any remaining bacteria from the pneumonias. And uh, while she was in there doing the bronchoscopy, she took so many samples, and I've been getting all the lab results from my phone. They tested over 50 different bacteria, negative on all of them. So that was great, really good news. Um, the only other oddity is in one of my bronchial tubes. There's like a covering over it, like a web. And apparently there should be two holes going through that web. But one got grown over somehow. So who knows what did that? No idea. Maybe that's uh, just because I've had asthma in my entire life. But we have no idea. Anyway, I still feel like I look like crap. Because I do. I mean, if any of you remember me from six months ago to today, I mean, you can just see how hard brain cancer is on the body and the treatment for it. But I'm determined now that I'm done the radiation, which was absolutely exhausting and basically had me, uh, I call it lazy boy ridden and Netflix ridden, because it's really all I could do for about three months. Um, now that that's over with, I'm hoping the chemotherapy, uh, you know, I can have my life again on this chemotherapy ther schedule and that doesn't affect me too much. So, so far I've never had problems with 
the nausea, the two most common complaints are the nausea, the constipation. I haven't had any problems with that um, while I was on it before during radiation. Hoping it's the same way again. And um, the nice thing is I can just, because I take it at home, I can just take it before bed and uh, go to bed because first couple hours, I tried it last night, I took it early. I took it at 4 p.m. because I wanted to see how it would affect me before bed. And it did make me quite tired. And I actually slept so good last night. So I'm hoping it just helps me sleep at least. And uh, if I have like a couple of days of uh, being really tired, I'll probably just force myself to work anyway and exercise. Because I think that's so important, especially reducing the steroids right now. I feel like I need to wake, like I have to re-wake up my adrenal gland that produces cortisol and adrenaline. And I feel like when I'm tired, that's the most important time to go work out. Like just force that gland to work and put out some hormones. So that's what I've been doing. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. It's very late in the evening for me. I'm about to go to bed. So I am a little bit shaky doing what I can. I just want to thank you all for following my journey to this point. I'm hoping now that I've turned a corner and I've gone into rehabilitation mode rather than simple just trying to get through the day and survive mode. So, I mean, my last scan, there was no obvious cancer. And the next one's probably not for three months. So we call the waiting in between scansiety. So that's what it is. You live between scans. So we'll see. We'll find out how well all this treatment worked in probably uh, two or three months. So again, thank you all for watching. This is your friend, Big Northern Bear, out.